Scoop, Muck and Dizzy and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Hi, Bob the Builder here. I wonder if you can guess what I'm standing on. It's flat, it's hard, cars and trucks use it for driving on. That's right, it's a road. Today, we're going to go on site and find out about roads and how they're built. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, everyone. Hi, Rolly. I wonder what's got into these squirrels and rabbits. They look very excited. Yeah, they are, Bob. They want to find out about roads too. They're asking me loads of questions. I know all about rolling stuff flat, but they want to know absolutely everything. <laughs> oh. Well, don't worry, Rolly. They can find out with us. I don't think I've explained anything to squirrels and rabbits before. It's easy, Bob. You tell me and I can tell them. Ha <laughs> ha! OK, everyone, let's go on site. Rock and roll! Now, can everybody see? Yep. How about you rabbits and squirrels? They can see, Bob. Great. This is my computer. I've recorded films on it which will show us everything we need to know. Ready, everyone? All OK over here, Bob. Then let's find out how to build a road. OK, the first thing we need to find out is which members of my team you need to build a road. Who's this? He's red, he's got a big shovel for digging. Can you guess who it is? It's Muck! <laughs> Muck's a digger. You need a digger to build a road. Sometimes you need more than one. Here's another digger. Can you guess who it is? He's yellow and he's got two digging shovels, one at the front and an extra one at the back called a backhoe. You know who it is. It's Scoop. And here's another digger. He's got an extra digging shovel at the back too, a backhoe. But he's smaller than Scoop, so he's useful for smaller jobs. Can you guess who it is? It's Benny! Muck, Scoop and Benny are the three diggers I use. But there are other diggers too. We can have a look at some of them on my laptop. Let's go on site. Look at this digger. His shovel's even bigger than Scoop's. He's very strong. Look at all that earth he's picked up. I wonder what he's going to do with it. Oh, I know. He's dumping it into that skip. Diggers have such big shovels that they can move lots of earth at once. See how big this shovel is. Just look at all the cement pouring out of it. It's time to pick up the next load. What a busy digger. Here's another digger. He's using his backhoe. It's not as big as the first digger's shovel, but it still moves a lot of earth. And here's another digger. Look at the long arm he has. Just right for getting his shovel deep into that hole and digging out more earth. Oh, 
this digger's dumping lots of earth into the back of that truck. And this digger's picked up lots of earth too. It can spin right around to dig anywhere. All the earth gets dumped into the back of special trucks. Then they can take it away wherever it's needed. Diggers really can move a lot of earth with those big shovels. Well, we've seen lots of diggers, but you need other machines to build a road too. Machines like this one. Can you guess who it is? He's yellow with green stripes and his big drum goes round and round. It's Tumbler. Tumbler's a special truck who pours concrete. But he's not the only kind. Here we are, back on site. This big tower is full of concrete. It's kept in here until it's needed by a concrete pouring truck. This one's white, but it looks a lot like Tumbler. These stones are used to make the concrete. A digger picks some up with his shovel. special stuff called cement. You need stones and cement to make concrete. The stones go up on these lifts, all the way up to a mixer. They're mixed up with the cement and some sand and water, and that makes concrete. Here's that concrete pouring truck. He's about to be filled up with concrete. Here it comes. Any minute now. There it is. Lots of concrete filling up the concrete pouring truck. All filled up, then off we go. Perhaps this truck's taking his concrete to build a road. Well, we've seen some diggers and a concrete pouring truck, but there's one more machine you need to build a road. I think you'll know this one. What do you think, Roly? Oh, yeah! It's me, isn't it? Yes, you've got your big heavy roller at the front. Yeah, for rolling things flat. Roll is a steamroller. He's very good at flattening. And roads need to be flat or the cars and trucks will bump up and down. There are other machines that flatten things too. Let's have a look back on site. This machine looks a bit like rolling. He's got a big, heavy roller too. He's a road roller. But a road roller's not the only machine you need to flatten a road. Look at this machine. What do you think it's doing? Moving lots of earth. It's got lots of small shovels going round and round. They pick up all the loose earth and take it away. This machine is called a grader. There are lots of different kinds. They all clear away earth so that the road is flat. Then the road roller makes it even flatter. They can move a lot of earth, especially this one, 
Let's have a closer look at how it works. It's got a long, wide shovel that lifts away the earth, so the ground behind it is flat and ready to be rolled. That shovel must be very strong to scoop away all that earth. There it goes, and look how flat the ground is now. Now the road roller gets to work. Its heavy roller rolls over the ground to make it even flatter. Those rollers and graders are all hard at work. Diggers, cement pouring trucks, and rollers and graders. Those are the machines you need to build a road. What do the rabbits and squirrels think so far, Rolly? They love it, Bob. They've got lots of questions, though. One at a time, please. She's asking, can we see the road get built right now? Well, little squirrel, something very important has to happen first. Planning. Every time I build something, I always make a plan first. Sometimes it's a drawing of everything I'm going to do. And sometimes I even make a little model. I made this one when I was planning to build a whole town. That way, I could see where all the buildings would go and what sort of buildings they would be. If you plan with a drawing or a model, then everyone on your team can see what you're going to do. But, Bob, roads are just flat and long. What do you need to plan about that? Well... Actually, Roly, there's quite a lot. Let's go back on site. These two people are making a plan. They're called surveyors. Surveyors work out how everything is going to be built. They need to be very careful when they make their plan. Look how many builders are going to help. They're all going to do different jobs in different places. That's why there has to be a plan, so everyone can check that they're doing the right thing. That way, everyone can work together. And the job gets done. He looks like he knows what he's doing. That's because he's seen the plan. This is a very big plan. They must be building a very big road. Once the planning is finished, it's time to start the actual building. There are three stages to building a road. Let's have a look. Stage one, digging. Stage two, building a foundation. Stage three, laying the road. OK, this is where we're going to build our road. Hello, little truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. You'd like to use the road? Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't built it yet. Mm -hmm. There are three stages first. Mm -hmm. Three stages, that's right. Stage one, digging. Stage two... Vroom, 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 vroom. Will it take a long time? Well, we'll try and get it done as quickly as we can. Vroom, vroom. OK, little truck. See you when it's finished. Hello, Muck and Scoop. Right, let's start stage one. Digging. We can't just put the road straight onto the ground. The rain would wash it away. So we need to dig a hole for it to sit in. Thanks, Muck and Scoop. That's stage one finished. The digging. 
<laughs> What's that little truck? Is the road ready? Not yet. We've only done stage one. Careful! <laughs> Whoops! The road isn't ready yet, little truck. It's just a hole. <laughs> now it's time for stage two. Building a foundation. Muck and Scoop are putting lots of rocks and stones and gravel into the hole. The rocks and stones are very heavy, so they'll make a really strong foundation for our road. And that is stage two finished. Oh, hello again, little truck. Yes, I suppose it does look a bit like a road, but we've only done stage one and stage two. Oh dear, little truck, we still need to do stage three, laying the road. That's the part where we make the top smooth and flat so it's easy to use. Never mind, we'll be finished soon. Here comes Tumblr. He's pouring the concrete onto the foundation. That's what makes the road flat. And here's another machine. He's pouring tarmac on top of the concrete. Tarmac starts off soft. So Rolly can roll it really flat. When the tarmac dries, it gets very hard. So this road will last for a long time. Hello again, little truck. Yes, this road is ready. All three stages are finished. Bye-bye, <laughs> little truck. Have fun on our brand new road. Now we've done all the planning, Bob, can we get to see some real road building? Yes, we can, Rolly. Are you ready? Here we go. Remember stage one? Digging. Scoop and Muck are digging. Look at the way they use their shovels. They use their front shovels to move a lot of earth. And Scoop's got that really useful little shovel at the back. Can you remember what it's called? A backhoe. He uses it for smaller holes when they have to be just the right shape. has a big shovel at the front and it has a backhoe too. The backhoe's got a special attachment on the end. This attachment breaks up the earth so it's easier to dig a really deep hole. This builder decides where to dig. And this builder keeps the hole wet, so all the dry earth doesn't just slide back in again. And that's stage one of building a road, the digging. What do you think, Rolly? Dig it! The squirrels and rabbits really liked it too. Do you think they understood everything? Oh, you bet. But why don't I go through it with them one more time? Let's hit it. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you build a road? If you want to see, sing along with me, because this is how you build a road. First you make a plan, make it nice and clear, so people understand your brilliant idea. Then you need a digger, or maybe two, because if you build a road, digging's what you do. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you build a road? If you want to see, sing along with me, because this is how you build a road. Dig up the ground, dig a great big hole, make it long and deep, make it rock and roll. Dig up the earth, put it in a pile, go digging, 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 mile after mile. <laughs> Rolly, 
Did you remember everything from before? You did? That's great! Do you remember the next stage of building a road? Stage one is digging. This is stage two. You put rocks and stones and gravel into the hole to make it really strong. Can you remember what stage two is called? It's building a foundation. My machines are doing it here. Lots of heavy rocks and stones to make the road really strong. Let's see how some other machines build a foundation. These trucks are ready to start stage two, building a foundation. Look at all those big rocks. They look very heavy, perfect for a good, strong foundation. And look at that! It's a very big pipe, isn't it? The builders are getting ready to lift it. Up it goes! It looks very heavy. Can you see what's happening? The pipe is going underneath the road so that water can go through it. The next job is to spread the rocks out. Just rocks and stones make a very bumpy road. It's a good thing this digger has big tires. Another truck sprays on water. That's to stop all the dust flying everywhere. Here's another digger. He's going to put earth on top of the rocks. Do you remember this machine? It's a grader. It moves earth to make the road flat. Here's another one. And another. So, that's stage two finished, building the foundation. But the foundation is still going to be really rough and bumpy until we've done stage three. Remember what happened to the little truck when he tried to drive on it? He bumped and rattled all over the place. But Tumblr poured something on it to make it really smooth. Can you remember what it was? Here's a truck just like Tumblr. What's he going to pour? Concrete. Although you could make a road out of something that wasn't concrete, if it was just a play road. <laughs> These children are going to make their own special road. They need to gather all their materials. First, they're going to fill their buckets with sand. Then, they can take the sand to where they're going to build the road. One, two, three buckets of sand. Now they need something else. Water. They're filling up the red watering can and the blue watering can. There! 
They've got sand and water. Well done, everyone. Now it's time for stage one, digging. To make a nice straight road, first they need to dig a deep hole, just like the machines did. Remember? That's right. Really, really deep. Now they can use these pieces of wood to make sure their road is really straight. They're putting a brick at one end and another brick at the other end. Now they know that the pieces of wood are the same distance apart. What a straight road! Now it's time to mix the sand with the water. It's a bit like making concrete. Pour the water onto the sand. Then it's time to mix them together, just like Tumblr mixing the concrete. Stir it around and make sure it's all mixed together. There! Now that wet sand will be really useful for building. Now it's time for stage two, building a foundation. These stones will be perfect for that. They need to be laid out really flat or the road will be very bumpy. That's it. Make sure the foundation is really flat. The foundation is built. Now it's time for stage three, laying the road. Pour on that wet sand, just like pouring concrete. That's it. Make sure it's really flat. We want the cars who use this road to have a smooth ride. Ha! They've done a great job. This road is as flat as can be. Time to take the bricks away. And the pieces of wood. And there's the road, ready to use. Well done, everyone. Time for a finishing touch on our road. Lines down the middle, so all the cars know which side to drive on. There they go, straight down the middle. Now. Here are some road signs. This one says there's some building going on. And this one tells the cars to drive straight on. I think there's one more thing this road needs though. What can it be? Of course, someone to drive on it. Like this digger. car and this concrete pouring truck and there it goes down that brand new road well done everyone <laughs> those children used wet sand but builders use concrete to lay a road that's stage three let's have a look Here's Dizzy. She's mixing up some concrete and now she's pouring it out into a hole. Tumbler mixes concrete too, but he's much bigger than Dizzy, so he can mix up lots and lots. Sometimes I need a lot of concrete when I use Tumbler, but sometimes I just need a little bit and it's better to use Dizzy. They're both good at mixing concrete, though. Here's Dizzy pouring some concrete. And here's Tumblr. Just look at it all. Tumblr and Dizzy were helping me make a skate park. We used the concrete to make different shapes. Look at Dizzy go. 
She's not just good at concrete pouring, she's good at skating too. Now let's look at using concrete to build a road. Once it's dry, concrete is really hard, so big heavy machines can drive on it and it won't crack or break. Now we can see some other builders use concrete for a road. Let's go back on site. All those builders! They're getting the road ready to have concrete poured on it. They've been working all day, so it's time to go home and get some sleep. And at night, more builders arrive to carry on with the job. They've been sleeping all day, so they're fresh and ready to start. The builders need to finish this road as soon as they can, so they work all day and all night too. That way the road gets built twice as fast. Here comes the concrete pouring truck. The builders make sure it's in the right place. Then press that button, and here's the concrete. It pours through this special metal grill. It's like a sieve to catch any rocks that are too big. is scraping out all the concrete to make sure every bit gets used. There! All done! All the concrete's in. Part of the job done. The builders look at their plans to see what's next. They're going to pump the concrete up from the truck through a long tube. The tube is attached to this metal arm. Hmm. At the other end, the concrete pours out again onto the road. The builders move the tube around to make sure the concrete goes in the right place. They spray extra water on it to keep the concrete soft until it's completely flat. Look at all that! It takes a lot of concrete to make a road, and it's a lot of work pouring it too. So, it's good to take a break for a drink of water. Then it's back to work, making the concrete completely flat. Cars are going to drive on this road, so it's important it needs to be as flat as can be. This builder is working the concrete pouring machine. He controls it with the buttons on that yellow box. And here's another machine for making the concrete really flat. Everyone works really hard all night long to cover this road with concrete. and squirrels are saying they know someone who works at night too. Really? Their friend the hedgehogs look for food in the night and sleep all day. You better let poor hedgehog get back to sleep or he'll be tired when he starts to work tonight. OK, now there's another thing we need to look at. Here's something being laid on top of the road. Do you remember what this is called? It goes on top of the concrete. It starts off soft 
then goes hard. It's tarmac. Here's a road roller. It rolls over the tarmac when it's soft to make it really flat. Even flatter than concrete. First, it rolls one way, then the other, to make the road as flat as can be. The flatter the road, the easier it is to drive on. Now let's see some of my machines do some driving. trucks using it. It's a good thing it was built so carefully. Roads have to be really strong. Think how heavy cars and trucks are. And they drive up and down these roads all day long. But our road is strong enough. It was dug out deep, then a strong foundation of rocks and stones was built, and that was covered with hard concrete and tarmac. Because of all those things, cars can use our road for as long as they like. Does that all make sense? You bet, Bob. Let's hit it. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you build a road? If you want to see, sing along with me, because this is how you build a road. First you make a plan, make it nice and clear, so people understand your brilliant idea. Dig up the ground, make a great big hole, make it long and deep, make it rock and roll. You've got your hole, get some heavy stuff, dump it in the ground, then it's bumpy and rough. Concrete's what you need to make it nice and smooth, paint some lines and arrows to the road building groove. How do you do it? How do you do you do it? How do you build a road? If you want to see, sing along with me, because this is how you build a road. Brilliant, Rolly. Do you think we answered all the rabbits and squirrels' questions? Oh, hang on a minute. What are they saying, Rolly? What about roads in the sky? What are you talking about? I think I know what they might mean. Can you guess what the squirrels and rabbits are talking about? Here's a clue. A road in the sky is a road that goes up and over something, like a river. Or another road. When the rabbits and squirrels say a road in the sky, they mean a bridge. It's quite a good name for it, actually. The team and I built a road in the sky in Sunflower Valley. There's a river running through the valley, and the people on one side couldn't get to the other side until we built the bridge. Then they could just drive or walk over it. Let's look at some of the bridges my team have built. Can you count them? One, two, Three, four. Now let's go and have a look at one of the bridges we last built. Wow! This is our bridge, all right. And here's someone who was very useful when we built that bridge. Do you know who it is? He's blue and very strong and he's got a hook and sometimes a special magnet that picks things up. Do you know who has all of those things? It's Lofty! 
Lofty the crane. Now let's see some other cranes on site. Here's one. Can you see what it's doing? Drilling a hole. Instead of a hook, it's got a long drill to dig down deep into the ground. Here's another one. It's lifting a tall metal tower. This one's very high, with a hook. This one has an arm that bends all the way over. Look at this one. It has a special attachment, a shovel for digging up earth and rocks. It's much bigger than Muck or Scoop's shovel. It fits onto the end of the crane's arm so it can dig just like a digger. Look at all these cranes working hard. If you need to lift or move something heavy, a crane is perfect for the job. Hello, everyone. We were just talking about you, Lofty. Were you? What are you doing, Bob and Rolly? We're finding out about bridges. And how they're built. We've already seen how important cranes are. Oh, I'm a crane. <laughs> yes, you are, Lofty. <laughs> What's that? Um, Bob, the rabbits and squirrels are saying that not all the roads in the sky, I think they mean bridges again, Bob, look like this one. They're right, Rolly. There are three different kinds of bridges. Hello, little truck. Are you going for a drive? You need a bridge? Don't worry, little truck. We can build one for you. The first kind of bridge is a beam bridge. It's got a big beam that goes across the gap made out of something really strong. Wait a minute, little truck. Even though the beam is really strong, it needs something else to hold it up in the middle. They're called supports. There. Now the bridge is really strong. I think you need a bridge here too. Let's try the second kind of bridge, an arch bridge. Yes, an arch bridge. Instead of being held up by supports, it's held up by an arch. The arch makes it really strong. See how strong it is? Don't worry, little truck. There's a third kind of bridge too. It's called a suspension bridge. The two supports are built higher than the bridge to make towers. The towers hold up the bridge with cables. Cables are made of metal, so they're very strong. Strong enough for our little trucks. And strong enough for lots of big trucks too. Don't worry, little truck. You'll be on your way soon. Have fun driving over your bridges. <laughs> Let's watch these children build a bridge. I wonder what kind they're going to build. How about a beam bridge? What do you think? A beam bridge it is then. We'll need some bricks and a truck for testing our bridge once it's finished. Everybody ready? Let's get building! That's the beam in place, but I wonder how strong it is. Time to test it out. Here comes our truck. Ready? Steady, drive! Oh dear! That doesn't look right. 
It's definitely not strong enough, is it? What are we going to do? I think she knows. Use the bricks to make the supports. That looks good. The bridge should be really strong now. Well done, everyone. The truck drives across with no problem at all. Thanks to those strong supports. Well done, everyone. We're going to look at how a beam bridge gets built. Now, let's see. Here we are, back on site. Look at those heavy metal girders. They look strong, strong enough to be supports for a beam bridge. These builders are making sure they're in the right place. This one's at the top. He's making sure the metal girders are all bolted together to make them really, really strong. And this builder's bolting them together at the bottom too. at all these supports. This beam bridge is very long, so it needs a lot of supports to keep it very strong and steady. Is everything making sense? Oh, you bet, Bob. Um, I think so, Bob. Well, I think we could do with a little reminder. Yeah, let's rock on. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you build a bridge? If you want to see, sing along with me. If you want to build a bridge. First you need a crane, cos they're really strong. The stuff they've got to lift is so big and long. When you've got your crane, have a little thought. You're going to build a bridge, but you know what, so How do you do it? How do you do you do it? How do you build a bridge? If you want to see, sing along with me. Cos this is how you build a bridge. Make it really tall, build it really high with those big supports to make it touch the sky. When you're nearly done, you need some paint, you know, so all the cars and trucks know where to go. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you build a bridge? If you want to see, sing along with me. If you want to build a bridge. Well done, Roly, and well done, rabbits and squirrels. You really did understand everything. Rock and roll! I can't wait to make up the next song, Bob. We better get finding out some more stuff, so I've got something more to sing about. OK, Roly. Let's see how these builders are getting on with the supports. They're still hard at work bolting together the metal girders at the top. They're making sure everything's really strong. He's adding some more bolts at the bottom too. Here are some more metal girders being lowered into place. By a crane! Cranes are very useful when you're building a bridge. It really is a road in the sky. Wow! That's high in the sky, all right. Uh, Bob, it must be really difficult building a road in the air. Well, let's have a look, Lofty. Here are some builders pouring concrete for a road again. They're building a road on a bridge. This road doesn't need a foundation of rocks and stones. The bridge is already a good, strong foundation, so the concrete can go straight on top. That's what these builders are doing, pumping concrete out of that large pipe. The concrete is soft and wet at the moment, but once it's dry, it'll be very, very hard. The 
builders all work together to make sure the concrete is poured in the right place. It's hard work because there's so much of it. But you need a lot of concrete to make a good, strong road. The builder is using a small pipe. He's making sure that every part of the road is completely covered. The builders move the concrete around, making sure it's evenly spread. It has to be completely flat to make a road. This part of the road is nearly finished, so it's time to move the pipe to another part. All that concrete is heavy in the pipe, so it takes a few builders to move it. But they've done it, and here's the concrete. This builder's making sure it's well spread out. Everyone is working very hard. The machines are working hard too. One last bit of concrete to finish off. Making sure every part of the road is covered. And there it is. It looks very flat. Those builders have done a really good job. Once all that concrete's dry, it'll be as hard as rock. Just like a road should be. all those cars and trucks. I wonder where they're going. All those roads must lead off to different places. <laughs> These children are going to draw some roads. Roads that all lead off to different places. Let's make a start. This boy has some pink chalk, so he's drawing a pink road. With pink lines down the middle, so the cars know which side to drive on. But where does this pink road go? This truck's going to find out. The pink road leads to some sand. Maybe this truck's taking it to a builder. Off he goes, back down the pink road. And here's a blue road. It's long and straight. With blue lines down the middle. But where does the blue road go? This big truck's going to find out. The blue road leads to some water. Perhaps this truck is taking water to a builder. Off he goes, back down the blue road. Here's a green road, with green lines down the middle. And here comes a green digger along it. I wonder where the green road goes. It leads to the park. Perhaps this truck is having a rest. The trucks are on the move again. 
And look, all the roads meet in one place. It's a junction. Then they carry on with their journeys down the pink, blue and green roads. <laughs> Amazing! Really, really good! All those different lines telling the trucks where to go. Where do you think this road is going, Bob? Hmm. There are lots and lots of cars on it. Yes, Rolly. One road is going right over the top of another road, on a bridge. When one road meets another, usually some cars have to wait for the others to go first. That's a junction. But if there are a lot of cars, it makes sense to build a bridge. Then the cars on the bridge can just drive over the other cars below. And they don't get in each other's way. Look how that road goes underneath the road on the bridge. The bridge is very useful. This bridge is old, so it's not very strong anymore. So it's time to replace it with a brand new one. First, the bricks from the sides of the old bridge have to be taken away. That's what these diggers are doing. It's called demolishing. Now here come some special trucks. They lift the old bridge up and take it away. Now here comes the new bridge. By the time morning comes, it's nearly done. Everyone works as fast as they can to get finished. Soon the job will be done and cars will be driving over a brand new bridge. We found out pretty much everything about roads and bridges. I suppose we have, Rolly. What do we need now, Lofty? Oh, a song. Can I join in this time? <laughs> oh, of course you can, Lofty. You too, rabbits and squirrels. We've got a lot to fit in. Let's hit it. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you build a road? If you want to see, sing along with me, cos this is how you build a road. First you make a plan, make it nice and clear So people understand your brilliant idea Dig up the ground, dig a great big hole Make it long and deep, make it rock and roll How do you do it? Yeah. How do you do it? Yeah. How do you build a bridge? What time? If you want to see, sing along with me If you, you want to build, build a bridge. bridge First you need a crane, cos they're really strong The stuff they've got to lift is so big and long When you've got your crane, have a little thought You're going to build a bridge, but you know what? So make it really tall, build it really high with those big supports to make it touch the sky. When you're nearly done, you need some paint, you know, so all the cars and trucks know where to go. How do you do it? How, How do, do you do, you do, do it? it? How do you build a bridge? What time? If you want to see, sing along with me, cos this, this is how you build a bridge. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Rolly and Lofty? You bet! I can't wait till we find out how to build other things, Bub. Then I can sing about them too! Hello, Bob the Builder. <laughs> yes? <laughs> OK. <laughs> What's that, Bob? A job? <laughs> it's a job, all right. A road and bridge building job. Rock and roll! We'll need our top team on it, Bob. Top team? Our squirrel and rabbit team. They know pretty much everything there is to know about roads and bridges now. Yes, they do. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so.